Hello, my name is Kyle Hannon. I'm the world record holder in surviving the most chemotherapy. Also the cancer patient with the largest biceps in the world. I'm dressed here today in my best war gear, my best fight gear, Soul Fighters. I'm just, just feeling that right now. It's been a rough day today. Counts are dropping. You can feel it. Been here many times. Set a plan in place. I worked that plan all day today. When the counts drop, by that I mean uh, your blood counts. So for me, that's the red blood cells that provides oxygen. So when I try to push it a little bit working out, it's pretty awesome because it feels like sprint. You know, you get that nice tightness in your chest. And red, white blood cells drop, so you feel kind of a little bit feverish, weak. It's, uh, that's what fights off infection, kind of a broad summary of how your immune system might be working. And we got platelets, those clot blood and things. I don't think we'll have much problem with those. And then you got all this stuff going through. You got, got some chemo brain today. They call it chemo brain. <laughs> I don't know, my brain's already trying to uh, keep my thoughts reflecting in good places and just bouncing off the beautiful woman that I have here, Ara my sweet love i have to build up like for this moment right here i had to build up but it's there's other a lot of the day today was fighting was seriously fighting that's why i'm dressed up that's why i decided to suit up right now i want to i want to feel good i want to feel strong for this moment when the nausea hits there's layers there's levels <laughs> it's funny there's levels to this nausea game there's levels to this cancer game for sure so you got your over time you got to figure out how to how to block out nausea so that you don't start vomiting because if you get in if you've been through a lot of treatment and you're in aggressive treatment and you're using strong chemo these are st blood cancer patients in aggressive battles they use strong multiple chemo bags uh, there's other patients they'll use lesser stuff that still gets to you but when you take it to these next levels you got to be you gotta be proactive in the next levels. And so if you get to this point where I'm at, and if I've, early on, I didn't know what I was doing, now I've learned. But if you start getting into the vomiting process, you can't switch it off, and then you're at risk of having to get a feeding tube and things like that. So it's real important to stay on the nausea. One thing when you get to the, down to the next levels, there's, there's some medicine that can block your vomiting. So you won't vomit, but you just get into these deep layers of nausea. And I've been staying on it with the right combinations of movement. Uh, some, hey kitty, help from the kitties. <laughs> right on, these guys have been awesome. When I'm not feeling good, man, they lay on me in the right places and purr. They're so cool and chill. So you won't be able to vomit, but you just enter these crazy deep layers of nausea. So you're trying to find a blend of medication that doesn't make you feel worse and still allows you to stay alert enough to manage your care. So I've been real grateful for these Zonka bars as part of the glue that's been holding my anti-nausea together. They got, they even got sugar-free. This stuff has been smooth. I'm, I get a, uh, it's kind of tough with the chemos and things and all the meds and all the stuff that's going on. I can get sensitive to different kinds of combinations. And if it takes me a little bit down that wrong, wrong route, that stress is not good for my body to be dealing with. Taste is great. I mean, I, from a guy that still doesn't kind of have taste or smell, felt like it was kind of coming back maybe a little bit. So now I'm wondering if some of that, I haven't had taste or smell in about three years. Wonder if some of that was tumor related. I don't know, I can kind of smell little things like I was smelling Ara, she smelled like I was smelling roses. <laughs> so I get into these zones where I try to immerse myself into just being surrounded by just shiny, glimmery, sunshiny rainbows, butterflies, bright yellow butterflies around and stuff. And hearing just, you know, whatever sounds that I want to try to get my mind focused on, maybe I'll, I'll need to turn to some music or other times I just can't even get into that that zone at all, so I just have to get into a deep focus, kind of like you know when you're working out real crazy hard, or maybe you're going through a super challenge, and you gotta find that next level focus. So I just take my body into a very deep place of 
just meditation, just focusing on God, uh, trying to focus on good thoughts, try to remind myself why I'm doing this. When you get in those real deep places where you can't even hear anything, you can't, uh, sometimes the chemo affects the hearing and, and different, different parts of what's going on. You get shocks down the spine and this kind of one. Uh, that's probably coming up a little more later. So you just gotta get, you gotta get in that zone. And that's why I love training. I love training jiu-jitsu, MMA stuff, because you get in there and you gotta, you gotta push it past your limit. You're forced, you're working with another human. You, you know, a good, good training is not somebody trying to hurt the other person. It's two people working together to build one another up in close quarters to make each other physically, emotionally, and mentally stronger so that they can go out and help others. And so to be able to do that, that kind of training, it just complements this kind of work I've been doing. And it's just so nice to have that correlation of support with people that are, that are into that same kind of war. There's, there's something about the, that is in each of us. We all have a warrior inside of us. And sometimes we gotta let that warrior out to push the limits step up past but I've been thinking on I know I'm rambling so, hey we're trying to work out of this zone here so when the boys get back they're all gone but they'll be back Monday it can be a little bit more clear but I've been thinking a lot about the bright yellow butterflies it seems like they're just coming out everywhere around me especially when I'm battling I don't know I probably notice them more and didn't notice them before it's the beauty of going through a battle you notice things if you're going through a struggling time, you notice things you didn't, you appreciate different things so much better. And it makes you more comfortable when you come back to regular life. It makes it more exciting, it makes it more brilliant, it makes it more celebratory. And uh, I don't know what I was even saying just now. <laughs> I just, I'm just like butterflies, butterflies. <laughs> beautiful peaceful creatures that fly through with such beautiful design and each one is just a reminder of work of art of angels I don't know what it is but I love butterflies driving keep moving whatever that challenge you're facing in front of you just keep working it you're becoming just more of an expert in it keep smiling keep smiling try to laugh try to it's so I think Man, there's no reason to take ourselves so seriously. I've been on that lately. Let's be silly. Let's get more fun. Everybody's so serious all the time. Can we just smile and laugh, be a little silly, you know? Just like, have a have a better time and laugh more. I, I do get these blessings of just laughter that just seems to just fall, just spread on through you. Sometimes I think about somebody that said something funny and it's, wow, oh, that laughter comes through. It's beautiful. And, Sometimes you gotta have tears in there too. There's definitely have have the moments every day of opportunity to just improve ourselves in every way. That's me. Just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I think I'm still good enough to do a little bit of. I'll do a little bit of a roll. Sorry, Darcy. Oh man. <laughs> on fighting wherever you're at push through it stronger than before push those limits love you guys hugs